Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 12 of My Life in Football Manager. And today we've got the season review and the transfers for the winter period. And remember, if you do enjoy the video, please leave a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel to see more of My Life in Football Manager. But without further ado, let's dive into the season review. Starting with the new arrivals, Paul Doyle uh, did get the best average rating. However, it looks to be Ben or Reardon that seems to be a signing of the season. Board transfer reactions have got C plus overall. And overall, I'd say the transfers that we made were uh, reasonable. Not all of them worked out. Two biggest, I uh, don't know if concerns is the right word, but puzzles for me. Uh, Vince Harper and Cameron McWilliams. Um, regular players look to be strong players, but we just can't seem to get the best out of either fullback. Uh, Healy was a key player, not necessarily showed it in the stats there. Uh, Dean Walsh was a bit of a disappointment, only two goals from him all season. Callum Brain coming in 14 games and uh, very happy with him. Kyle Crossley, three goals, two assists, expect to see more from him next season now that he's settled in. Connor Murphy, 17 goals overall. Very happy with his contribution. And look at that, Paul Doyle, 19 goal contributions. Season results. Uh, we were expected to finish mid-table. Uh, we finished second and ended up getting promoted via the playoffs. Moments to remember. 4-0 uh, hammering of Shamrock Rovers in the biggest win. Match to remember uh, was the playoff final by the look of that. saying 4-3 on aggregate. Looks to be the second leg that we played. And then goal of the season, uh, one from Aaron Lennon, or Adam Lennon rather, not Aaron Lennon, that's uh, wishful thinking. Still can't see them from this screen. The finances, club reputation still the same, still national reputation. No new sponsorships, uh, which is actually down from last season, although very minimal. Broadcast revenue down 5,000. However, corporate and hospitality and competition and prize money both up from last year. And match day commercial and retail down. So team of the season looks like this. We've got Lawless in goal, Brooks, Okpalokpo, Grogan and Matthew at the back. Hughes, Cornelli and Manning in midfield. Walsh, Lennon and Duffy up front. Would definitely disagree with that. Not sure how Lee Duffy's got into there. And that's saying 14 games. He definitely didn't play 14 games for us. So that must include his games elsewhere. Which must be throwing off the team. Accolades, I won two Manager of the Month for May and September. France Player of the Season, Ben O'Riordan. Young Player of the Season, Paul Doyle. As we saw, Signing of the Season, O'Riordan. And the Goal of the Season for Adam Lennon. Top Goal Scorer in the League, Connor Murphy with 14. Paul Doyle with 8 assists. Ben O'Riordan with 4 Man of the Matches and also the highest average rating. So History in the Making, we're back in the top division. And we'll look to push on and we'll have a look at the upcoming transfers. Just before we jump over to the transfers, just want to show you that we've had our first job offer from Finn Harps, who are in the Irish First Division. So the positive is we've had our first job offer from elsewhere. I have declined the interview, didn't want to take any further. I don't see any progression by moving across to them. So let's move on to the transfers. So with our promotion to the Premier Division, we were going to need a busy summer and that, or oh, winter period. I always forget it's the winter period in Ireland. But that we did indeed. And as you can see, one player uh, left the club. Well, actually, two players left the club recently. Thomas O'Connor and Darcy Lawless, both were out of contract anyway. And then we've had a few join before the season ticked over. Uh, where are we? We saw Jake Giddens in the last episode. Liam Nash has come in, free transfer from Stockport, and hoping that he could be our main striker going forward. He's only five foot nine, but he's quick, decent finisher, good work rate, good determination. Twenty seven years old, has plenty of experience. Another signing, Grant Smith, has come in to provide competition in goal. Wanted to go with someone a little bit older, he is only three star, as you can see, technically looks to be very good. Mentals are about average, um, but somebody that can provide experience and uh, challenge Brian. 
as well as mentoring. Nathan Simpson, 18 year old midfielder, will probably play as a Mazala, attacking midfielder, good passing, first touch, vision, work rate, good decisions, plenty of pace and agility as well. He came in on free from Middlesbrough. Vinny Steeles has come in and will primarily play down the left hand side but can play down the right as well. Three star current ability, possible five star potential. Nothing great technically but determined and decent physicals. So he's really going to be a squad player coming in from Sunderland. And then Jesper Kuchienza has come in to be a starting centre back, four star current ability, five star potential. Decent tackling, marking there, yeah, six foot three, good in the air, reasonable mentals. Um, would like to see him with a bit more determination, um, but reasonably physical and quick at the same time. He's come on on a free from Leicester, where he has played one game in the Premier Division as a substitute appearance. But moving on, we've got his partner for the season, Jamie Stott. He's going to come in and be a centre back as well. Only 9 pace, but decent physicals, decent mentals for this level. 10 tackling, 10 heading. He's coming on free from Stockport as well, where he was playing in the Famarama National and the North last year on loan at Chester. Alex Reed has come in to provide competition up front. And not entirely sure what role I'm going to play him in, but offers a different option. He's 6 foot 4. Decent in the air um, while remaining reasonably quick as well. He's come on a free from Stockport as well. Plenty of players coming in from Stockport um, and we still can't get an affiliation with anybody. Ben Wills has come in, a versatile player, can play it anywhere through the middle defensively and also at left back, but I think I'm going to play him as the defensive midfielder. Six foot one, reasonably strengthy and quick. He's coming from QPR. And then we take over to this season. And a few more look arriving. And Placanis, young player that's gone out on loan. So another six players to get through. We've got Stephen Best. He's coming. And I think he's going to be my first choice fullback if Vince Harper doesn't um, book his ideas up. Wants to be an unanswered fullback, but reasonable going forward. Decent mentals and decent physical abilities. And he's coming from Cork City on a free transfer. Harrison Sona is coming from Aston Villa, where he actually made a Premier Division appearance last year. So expecting big things from him. He's going to be a central midfielder, probably a playmaker, I think. And yeah, expecting big things. Four star current ability, five star potential, star player. Fraser Horsfall has come in, more uh, strength in depth at the back, can awkwardly play it uh, either full back role, decent in the air, decent tackler, and again just more experience at the back to aid the young players. He's coming from a free and from Northampton where the season before last, looks like he had a full season in League 2. A uh, couple more now. Wayne Coleman is coming from Kevin Teeley, young player, um, showing a bit more potential, but I don't think that one's going to work out, but you never know. Ryan Dolan, another young player, don't need to delve into that too much. And the only money money signing we um, splashed out for was Callum Thompson, going for £500 from Bray, and he was available for free, but with compensation, so I offered nothing, they wanted a bit more. Got them down to 500 euro and looks to be a good option down either flank. Um, probably won't play at the back, but can fill in and do a job should we need to. It's most likely we're going to play down the left. Very, very good player for this level. And with that, the squad now looks like this. Um, as you can see, a much more balanced and rounded squad. Less on the potential side, more current ability through the squad. However, if we do go to the competitions and the season preview, and it's still not looking positive, the bookmakers have us down at 600 to 1 to win the league and odds on favourite for last place finish. So, with that all said and done, 
Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed this episode. Subscribe to see the next episode where we will be kicking off our Premier Division push against Shamrock Rovers at home and that will be the next episode. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.